This Week at Upper Room. The New Horizon District Consecration Union, hosted by Pastor Michael Woodard, will be held Monday, August 19th, and Tuesday, August 20th, both days at 7.15 p.m. Speakers include First Lady Felicia Woodard and District Missionary Margaret Mose, respectively. The services will take place at Eastgate Church, located at 2301 Montgomery Drive in Wilson. Our 13-week prayer campaign continues Tuesday night, August 20th at 8 p.m. with the Youth and Multimedia Department. Meet us in the sanctuary as we pray for our leader, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Prayer points include God's guidance and wisdom, along with knowledge, understanding, and continued discernment. Ladies of the King's Court will host a back-to-school beauty and hygiene class to be held Saturday, August 24th from noon to 2 p.m. The event will take place at Breco Tea located at 1144 Kildare Farm Road in Cary. Get ready for discussions on hygienic needs of the temple from registered nurse Sister Taronda Muir and instructions on age-appropriate makeup tips from professional makeup artist Sister Brian Nora for young ladies ages 12 to 18. There will also be a load of goodies given away. For registration and additional information, send an email to Sister Jasmine Rayford at jasmine.rayford at gmail.com. Extra, extra, read all about it. Evangelism needs you. Evangelize, mobilize, and get ready to share the gospel and win souls. Meet us every fourth Sunday at 1 p.m. in your respective zone or team in Raleigh. For questions, please contact Elder Jerome King, Elder Carl Reeves, or Elder Alvin Geiger. North Carolina Third Jurisdiction Coaching Academy is now accepting applications for enrollment. If you've been called into ministry and desire to pursue licensure and ordination, or you would just like to gain a deeper understanding of doctrine while enhancing your educational level, NC Third Kojic Academy is for you. Our training will engage called ministers and missionaries, as well as laypersons, to zealously defend the God of the Bible and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. All classes will be live and held at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We will follow the geographical boundaries set forth in the student handbook for all those who are outside of the 75 mile radius, in which case you'll be able to participate in the hybrid component. Tuition is $225 per semester and new students must submit a $50 non-refundable fee with their application. The final day to submit an application is Sunday, September 8th, with classes beginning Saturday, September 14th. To enroll or for additional information, visit nc3rd.org or send an email to infotech.nc3rdca at gmail.com for an application. Join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ can be seen every Sunday morning over the air from 11 a.m. to noon on MyRDC. If you're unable to join us in person or watch our live stream, we have you covered. Turn on your television and get ready for a full hour of the God First experience. Visit MyRDCTV.com for additional information. Giving is now better and easier. The Upper Room Church has moved to PushPay for online giving. Please use the following PushPay methods for online giving. Text GIVE to 877-727-0402, scan the QR code, visit our giving page at upperroomgospel.org, or mail your gift to Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina 27529. The methods of giving are also located on the back of the new church envelopes. Thank you for helping us make a successful transition to push pay. Early bird registration is open now through August 31st for Women's Weekend 2024. Scan the QR code, visit the Upper Room app under events, or check your inbox for the registration link and additional details. Don't wait, register now. Part 4 of the Pastor Will Nichols Relationship Podcast featuring Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. and First Lady Pamela Wooden will air Monday, August 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern on Facebook and YouTube Live. Be prepared for a deep dive into their journey with discussions on the Wooden Early Years, the Wooden Family and Marriage, Influencers, and the Wooden Controversies. Set your notifications so you don't miss a moment of this enlightening adventure. 
His word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. Be sure to join us for the initial sermons of the men and women in ministry to be held Sunday, August 25th at 6 p.m. in the sanctuary. The speakers will be Minister Corey Durham, Minister Jarek McClendon, Minister Bryson Smith, Missionary Maisha McGilvery, Missionary Tracy Miller, Missionary Imani Rayford, Missionary Selena Roberts, and Missionary Yvonne Smith. Bishop Wooden, my spiritual father, my pastor, my leader. I just want to tell you with uh, your upcoming anniversary how much I truly appreciate you. You've been a spiritual father, as I said to me, my wife. Uh, it was no mistake that the Lord sent us here. We knew when we came, you know, my wife was a little nervous about coming to the Church of God in Christ. She'd never experienced that. But the transition was very smooth. I was familiar with you from the 88, 1988, when I first got here at Seymour Johnson, a young airman, about the third week in December of 1988, a young lady, Terry Fisher, uh, came and picked me up from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, brought me to a service that weekend. You were not 30 years old yet, and I was just amazed over at Lake Wheeler Road. I called my parents and told them, I said, you know, uh, the pastor of Terry Fisher's new church, I said, he sounds like He's maybe a 60-year-old seasoned bishop. I said, this man is not 30 years old, but he preached the house down. We, we shouted on that wooden floor and I just had a time. And had I been in Raleigh, I'm pretty sure I would have joined that Sunday. But uh, the Lord saw fit some maybe 12 years later to bring us together here in Raleigh. And uh, I haven't been the same. My thinking has changed. One thing I appreciate about your preaching, sir, and your teaching, is that we leave thinking. Uh, even my quiet wife, she, she leaves thinking. We often, you know, talk to each other after services and say, you know, what do you think about that? You heard that? And, and it's always applicable to our lives. And for that, I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And stay on the wall, man of God. I, I don't see you coming down, but I still want to encourage you to stay on the wall. Uh, and I also appreciate you allowing me to serve in the capacity that I serve in. You know, it's a privilege and an honor to serve in the music ministry uh, as an elder. Uh, I appreciate that, and I serve at your pleasure, and I, I'm honored. And I ask you again to stay on the wall, man of God. We love you and First Lady and the First Family. And again, happy anniversary, Bishop. Save the date as we celebrate the 37th pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Sunday, September 15th at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.